everybody. Welcome to episode three, four, three and a half, something like that. Anyways, the world's weird now, isn't it? Real, real weird. To all of you staying at home, good job, keep it up. To all of those going out, what the fuck, man? Come on. Oh, this is the first time out of the house in weeks. Just enjoying the sunshine-ish, kind of. It's kind of gray and not really nice. All right, so here's the plan. This is a fairly long gap in between videos, but you know what happens, life gets in the way. I actually went to the Czech Republic over Christmas. That was a long time ago, Christmas and New Year's. Watched the World Juniors up there. Watched Canada win, go Canada go. Recorded bits and pieces, was never really happy with the way it was coming together, so I just kind of kept putting it off and putting it off. But now I've got a lot of free time, as I'm sure many people do. So I've cut together something on that and then combined it with this little bit. So the bit that I actually talk about is New Year's resolutions, and that's kind of framed as being this life-changing, you know, sometimes life-changing, more habit-changing or forming period that people take on and maybe they don't do it for the right reasons. But I guess in the context of what we're all going through now, you can frame it as, you know, a new hobby to pick up while we're all stuck here, or yeah, something positive to work towards when people have a lot more time than they used to, or thought that they didn't have when they were free to do lots of things. It's weird, it's weird to think about that way. But you are, some people are more free now than they were when they had the freedom to go out places. So it's kind of uh, weird in that way. Yeah, so an update for me, uh, I've always enjoyed playing video games, and now I've got loads and loads and loads of time to do so. So hopefully I can play them with you guys. I've already set up and have been streaming on Twitch for a while. I'm twitch.tv slash stratonize. So now that I have a lot more time to do that and hopefully do that properly, you can come out, come hang out and watch video games. Uh, I've got a lot of games, got a huge catalog that I've been meaning to play through. I've got uh, Doom Eternal. This is really metal game, ripping demons apart with chainsaws. And what I'm most excited for is starting up a Minecraft survival world and really committing a lot of time to that. And I might do that in a combination of streams and also uh, work on some YouTube video stuff. So yeah, I've got a lot of content coming your way, but the hopes is not to do things for me, but it's the hopes that, you know, to get an interaction going and interact with you guys because we're all you know, stuck at home and hopefully I can provide something for you guys to entertain yourselves with. So it's kind of me scratching a video game itch, but also um, trying to do my part in a way. So hope you enjoy it and uh, that's it for me. Hello, we're just outside of my hotel here in the Czech Republic, uh, in Olomouc. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of interesting things so far. Uh, in addition to watching hockey, we've seen every Canada game except for the very first matchup against the US. But yeah, it's not just hockey on this trip. We have also went and seen a cave, uh, pardon my Czech, but I believe it's called Moravsky Kras. Saw a vineyard tour on the same day. Went and saw a uh, steel mill or an iron ore plant. Iron ore, iron, iron foundry, blast furnaces where they make iron. Olomouc, or sorry, uh, Ostrava and uh, Trinets are uh, pretty much the iron steel capital of the Czech Republic. 
those two cities hosting the tournament. Uh, so we went and saw some of that. But yeah, we're also here over Christmas, over New Year's. So uh, maybe we'll sit down and talk about some talk about some New Year's resolutions and kind of how I feel about that. See, I think a lot of people make New Year's resolutions for the wrong reasons. If everyone just does it, say, oh, I'm gonna eat better, oh, I'm gonna do this, oh, I'm gonna do that, be more productive. But they're not actually in the right cycle or the right moment for them to do that. They're not really ready for that kind of uh, life change. So let's set this down and talk about that a little bit. All right, so let's talk about New Year's resolutions. Maybe the audio isn't great, but let's just go for it. So yeah, New Year's resolutions. Everyone has this meme that, oh, resolutions last for maybe the first month of January and then they're just done forever. Um, I try not to follow that practice or not set unrealistic goals for myself when we're talking about New Year's resolutions. Everyone talks about the gym as a good example of they're just, yeah, then the gyms clear out. I like to think about resolutions a little differently. There are good ways and bad ways to go about it. Basically, if you are not in a stage in your life where you think you need to change, uh, then a resolution isn't gonna be the right idea for you. You're no not. major change is gonna come of it, and you're just gonna be out of luck on that. But yeah, resolutions can be bad if you don't follow through, or if you think that you need to set one and just arbitrarily set a goal that you're not really passionate about pursuing. Yeah, with the new year, set aligning your goals, new year, new me, that's like the big meme, but if you're actually committed to making a change in your life and you wanna do something about it, new year's could be a good time to uh, set that goal and pursue it for you. So I like to think about goals uh, a little differently than most people. Some people wanna just say, I'm gonna lose 20 pounds, I'm going to do, achieve this thing, I'm gonna get X amount of dollars. And it's good to set measurable, attainable goals, that's part of good goal setting. But I like to think about it just a little bit differently. I like to think about goals uh, in terms of the process. So what things do I want to do, or how frequently do I want to do things, such that what I want to achieve happens naturally after the fact. So like, instead of saying I want to lose 20 pounds, I'd set a goal such that I want to work out twice a week for the month of January, we'll say. Just short period of time, short commitment, so you can actually commit to doing it. And it's very measurable and attainable, so that you're not trying to look at some or chase some number on the scale, but you're actually trying to accomplish something each and every day. Or if it's schoolwork or uh, work in your professional life, you've set aside so many hours a day and you go kind of go backwards and achieve things like that. Or I'm gonna work put in this many hours or uh, I'm gonna study this many times per week or something like that, right? So that's kind of how I view New Year's and uh, it's kind of interesting being in a new place for New Year's, uh, not doing the whole party thing. Obviously the trip had a party thing as well, but uh, it's not really the same. That's kind of my take on New Year's. So basically, to sum it up, if I haven't said it right yet, most people set goals because they think they should instead of uh, it's actually something that they need to work on. And if you uh, set goals that align with some sort of process instead of just the finish line, it might help you uh, achieve what you want to. So yeah, we're almost done here in Czech. Uh, we're going into the semifinals. Uh, Canada has Finland. So we're gonna, we'll go watch that game later this afternoon. And uh, yeah, go Canada, go. <laughs> 